you good? How about the frisbee? Where's it at? Huh? You know, you've seen, we've fished this year, we've hunted a lot this year, but some of the most exciting stuff for 2018, 2019 is the habitat work. What was this area before? Well, this was fescue, so you know, predominantly what was often put in the open areas for cattle. What was the site prep here with this being fescue, getting it to this point ready to plant? An initial spray with the Roundup, then of course as the uh, cool season started coming back on with what had germinated, I did another spray um, probably about mid-September. And then right after that, about the first week of October, I did a burn. So over the past couple of years, we've, we've been able to connect with Matt Miles. He's a wildlife photographer and extremely talented. Actually lives in our area and does a lot of work in and around Southwest Missouri. Through that connection and with Pure Air, we all kind of linked up and are doing a pollinator planting at his property in Southwest Missouri today. When people look at what can I do to improve my deer hunting, I got to do hinge cuts because I read about hinge cuts. I got to plant food plots because I read about food plots. But you can go out to the prairies of Kansas and find giant bucks that are hiding out in those. And so it's like little they don't need draws. that. Yeah. So that's cool from a hunting aspect. Is this is going to be a limited resource in the area? There's you look around here. Everything's every opening is either fescue or overgrown right. cedars. So pollinator planting is a high diverse mixture of warm season grasses and forbs. There's big pushes out there to get pollinators back onto the landscape. This area is one of the key areas for the monarch butterfly. So we're kind of in that migration pattern and zone. So we've got a lot of pollinator species in this mix. Additionally, we've got some warm season grasses that are specifically picked for this area, the different varieties and species that are gonna go in. And then also with the layout of the property being a sloped area, these grasses are gonna help keep the, the pollinators and everything intact as they mature. I think so many people don't know kind of the changes that have happened in the landscape from 100 years ago, 200 years ago to now. All these species that really need these native grasses and wildflowers are declining because we no longer have that, that habitat. It's going to take a lot of work from private landowners like Matt putting these species back in the ground to where we can start changing the declining numbers of, of all these amazing animals and plants we have.